Just gonna stand there and watch me. Until Wednesday afternoon, there were no public questions about the heart or soul of star Notre Dame linebacker Manti Teo. What really happened to Manti Teo, the college football star whose personal story of strength and sadness inspired so many people until they learned that the dying girlfriend didn't really exist? I can't tell you what it uh, I don't know what to do I here. I, uh, I, I, I've known people. I'll tell you what not to do. Go ahead. What, don't find a girlfriend on the internet. Notre Dame officials say the relationship was exclusively online. So why then did Teo's father reportedly tell one paper his son had met Kokoa years ago? Why perpetrate so staggering a hoax with nothing seemingly to gain? Why, even after Teo informed school officials of the hoax back in December, did no one set the record straight? Was Teo the victim or the perpetrator of this hoax? I kind of, you know, tailored my stories to you know, have people think that, yeah, he met her um, before she passed away so that people wouldn't think I was some crazy dude. He convinced me that he was not party to this hoax. A lot of confusion, but several options of what really went down. ESPN knew of Teo's story for 10 days, had been reporting it, but could not confirm. Why would you run this piece if you knew that it wasn't real? Either Manti Teo is completely insane and the dumbest person alive on the face of the earth, or he was in on it. My third option is he could be gay. It could easily, easily be possible. He's a great, great football player, and this is extraordinarily troubling, is it not? Yeah, the whole thing is.